Hello friends, welcome to Learners Forum. Last video was about the mesh analysis and super mesh analysis. Now let us see the next topic which is nodal analysis. So before seeing about what is nodal analysis and its procedure, let us see the difference between what is nodal analysis and what is mesh analysis. When we consider mesh analysis, it is based on KVL which is Kirchhoff's voltage law and in the procedure also we have seen it how the problems are solved using KVL whereas in node analysis it is based on Kirchhoff's current law KCL. So this is the ultimate difference between these two analysis. Now let us see the procedure for nodal analysis before which we have to know what is called as a node. So node in the sense it is a point at which two or more elements meet together. So that point is called as a node. When two elements are connected it will be called as a simple node whereas when more than two elements are connected it will be called as a principal node and this principal node concept will be used in our nodal analysis procedure. So the difference between simple node and principal notice that in case if we have two elements or sources in this way this is called as a simple node since we have just two elements meeting at a point so whenever it is for principal node it means we have any source it will be so this is the principal node where we have two or more branches which are meeting together. So this principal node will be used in our nodal analysis. Let us see the procedure now. So the procedure is we have to identify the total number of nodes and assign voltage at each node. One node is taken as reference. So in the given circuit first we have to identify what are the total number of nodes available and then for each node we have to assign voltage. For example it is V1, V2 or V3 and one node has to be taken as reference. Usually the reference node is nothing but the voltage value is 0 for this particular node. The second step is we have to develop the KCL that is KCL equation for all the nodes except the reference node. So the reference node is usually grounded one. So except the reference node for all the other nodes we have to write the corresponding KCL equation. Third step is for the equations that is developed over here. So this equation has to be solved which are the nodal equations and we have to get the corresponding nodal voltages which are nothing but V1, V2, V3 which we have assigned here. So this is the steps for nodal analysis. So this nodal analysis can be used for both planar and non-planar networks whereas in mesh analysis it cannot be applied for both the thing as we have seen in the previous videos. And the number of equations available here is n is equal to n minus 1. Small n represents the number of equations whereas capital N represents the number of nodes. So n number of nodal equations will be available if there are capital N number of principal nodes and which means there is exception for the reference node. So this is the general condition and the number of equations for this. Whenever the number of principal nodes except the reference node is less than the number of meshes and that condition nodal analysis will be used. So these are the theoretical concepts. Now let us see some problems where we have to apply all this procedure so that we can get a better understanding. So the first question is find the current using nodal analysis. So this is the circuit given. So in this condition we have to apply all the theoretical procedures that we have seen now. So the first step was we have to identify the total number of nodes available here. As we can see there is one node here where three elements are meeting together and we have one more node here too and this node too can be taken as reference because the voltage at this point is equal to zero. So this is our reference node. So this is the first step. So the number of nodes is equal to two. Now let us take the value of these node voltages at the first node let the value of voltage be V1 and the second step is we have to consider at the particular node all the currents are outgoing. So this is the general procedure. First step is we have to identify the node. Second step is we have to assume that all the currents are flowing outwards this particular node. So 
at this particular junction we have to apply kcl now so once after the first step is done we have to write the equation for each particular nodes so starting from this particular one so the value of voltage here is v1 next we have to look around at the other voltage sources available here so which is 4 since it is from plus to minus it is minus and the value of voltage is 4 because the voltage of v1 will be greater than the given source 4v so it is taken as v1 minus 4 divided by the resistance value available here is 1 so why we are taking in this way in the sense as per kcl the current v is equal to ir means current can be represented as v by r so this is the ratio of v by r for this particular branch next let us see for the second branch this one so it is plus v1 minus plus 2 minus means we will have voltage drop so minus the source value is 2 divided by the resistance value is 1 plus again for the second condition here we have the current value as directly 2 here so we did not write it in terms of v by r and instead we can write the value of i directly which is 2 amperes the second step is we have to look at the direction of this particular current source so here it is outgoing which means it is moving in this direction and the current source is given in the opposite direction so we have to write it as minus 2 which is equal to 0 so these are the current values represented for each particular branch now let us simplify this so this particular value represents i1 this represents i2 and this represents i3 which is nothing but i1 i2 and i3 so these are the current values here so kcl in the sense i1 plus i2 plus i3 is equal to 0 so this is how we have applied kcl here now let us solve this particular equation so it will be v1 minus 4 plus v1 minus 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 so 2v1 minus 8 is equal to 0 which means v1 is equal to 4 so we are supposed to calculate the value of current which is available here and the current flowing here is nothing but i2 so we have to calculate i2 i2 is nothing but v1 minus 2 divided by 1 which is our i2 value the value of v1 is 4 which means 4 minus 2 divided by 1 is equal to i2 so i2 will be equivalent to 2 amperes so this is the procedure to solve using nodal analysis the first step is we have to identify the node second step is we have to take the current moving outwards this particular junction that is it is leaving the particular node and then we have to apply Kirchhoff's current law for each particular branches in this way we have to represent in case if it is not mentioned in current in v by r form if the current source value is directly mentioned then we have to take it in this way and solving this we will get the nodal voltages which is v1 that we have assigned here and from which we can calculate the corresponding current now let us solve second example calculate current through the 20 ohms resistor using nodal analysis and the 20 ohms resistor is available here we have to calculate the current flowing across this particular resistor value using the nodal analysis technique as we have seen the first step is we have to identify the number of nodes here so the first node is available here second node is available here and a third node which can be taken as our reference node which is nothing but the value of voltage which is equal to zero so this is the first step now we can calculate the value of node voltages and different nodes let us take the first node so here we can take the value of node voltage as v1 and here let it be v2 so starting with the first branch here it can be written as v1 minus the value of voltage here is 20 divided by resistance value is 5 plus across this particular branch here it is we don't have any other voltage source so it is just v1 divided by the resistor value is 10 plus the second value is v1 
the other voltage is V2. So since we are talking about the first node, V1 will be dominant here. So it is V1 minus V2 divided by the resistance value is 10, which is equal to 0. So solving this, we will get 2V1 minus 40 plus V1 plus V1 minus V2, which is equal to 0 after taking LCM. So let us solve this further. So 4V1 minus V2 is equal to 40. Therefore, we can write V2 is equal to 4V1 minus 40. Let this be our first equation. Now we can apply it for the second node. So across the second node, again starting from this particular resistance, we can get it as now it is V2 minus V1. Since we are talking about the second node, V2 will be dominant here. So V2 minus V1 divided by resistance value is 10 plus across this particular branch we will get it as v2 divided by 20 next here we have a current source which is flowing in the opposite direction so it will be minus 4 which is equal to 0 let us solve this further so we will get it as 2v2 minus 2v1 plus v2 minus 80 is equal to 0 after taking LCM. Simplifying it further, we will get minus 2V1 plus 3V2 minus 80 is equal to 0, which is minus 2V1 plus 3V2 is equal to 80. So in this particular equation, let us substitute the value of V2 here. So minus 2V1 plus 3 into V2 value is 4V1 minus 40 which is equal to 80. So minus 2V1 plus 12V1 minus 120 is equal to 80. So 10V1 is equal to 200, which means V1 value is equal to 20 volt. So we have calculated the first nodal voltage V1. So get the value of V2, which is 4V1 minus 40. So 4 into V1 is 20 minus 40 which is equal to 80 minus 40 which is equal to 40 old. So we are supposed to calculate the value of current under the 20 ohms resistor which is I20 which is equal to as per our second equation we can get it as V2 divided by 20. So V2 value is 40 divided by 20 means we will get it as just 2 amperes which is the current flowing across 20 ohms resistor. So this is how we have to calculate the current using nodal analysis. Next question, calculate the current value using nodal analysis and the circuit is given here. So first we have to find the nodes in the particular circuit. So let this be the node 1. Let us take this as node 2, this one as node 3 and this be the reference node 4. So at the node 1, we can get the node voltage as V1. Here, let it be V2. Here, V3. So these are the node voltages V1, V2 and V3. So we have to calculate the nodal voltages at each node now. So let us consider the first node, which is node 1. So here, when we consider this particular node, here between the voltage source that is between the principal node and the reference node we have a voltage source which is connected in between so whenever the voltage is connected between the principal node and reference node then we have to write the value straight away in this condition which is v1 minus 10 is equal to 0 from which we can directly get the v1 value as 10 so this is a single step process even if you apply the same procedure like we have seen we then also we can get the value of v1 as 10 which i will show you once after completing this problem I have to check first whether the voltage source is connected between principal node and reference node whenever we have this condition we can straight away write the value as this one that is the nodal voltage which is v1 and here it is flowing from positive to minus so we'll, there will be a voltage drop so minus Minus the value of voltage is 10 which is equal to 0 so this is the procedure at the first node now let us see the second node so at node 2 we can apply the procedure now so the dominant voltage is v2 here starting with this branch we will get it as v2 minus v1 divided by the resistance value is 1 plus across this branch it is 
P2 divided by R value which is 1 plus across this branch it is V2 minus V3 divided by the value of resistance which is equal to 1 which is equal to 0. Solving this we will get V2 minus V1 plus V2 plus V2 minus V3 is equal to 0. So minus V1 plus 3V2 minus V3 is equal to 0. Again 3V2 minus V3 which is equal to V1. Here the value of V1 is 10 from the first node condition which is equal to 10. So if we consider this as first equation let it be the second equation. Now let us solve for the third node. So at node 3 the equation will be at this particular junction. So we have it as V3 minus the source V2 divided by R value 1 plus V3 divided by across this particular resistor the value is 1 plus we have one more looking at this junction. So V3 minus the other voltages V1 divided by R value 1 which is equal to 0. Solving this we will get V3 minus V2 plus V3 plus V3 minus V1 is equal to 0. So minus V1 minus V2 plus V3 is equal to 0. So minus V2 plus 3V3 is equal to V1. So V1 value is 10. So we can get the third equation in this way. Now let us solve the second equation and third equation. So second equation is 3V2 minus V3 which is equal to 10 and the third equation is minus V2 plus 3V3 so we can multiply third equation by 3 so we can get minus 3V2 plus 9V3 which is equal to 30. Solving this we will get 8V3 is equal to 40 so V3 is equal to 5. So we are supposed to calculate the value of current flowing across the resistor which is mentioned in the question. So across this particular branch the value we have represented as V3 divided by 1. So this is the value of V by R for this particular current. So I is equal to V3 value which is 5 divided by 1 is equal to 5 R. So this is how we have to solve. So when we are talking about the first node, I said you like we can write the value of V1 is equal to 10 straight away like this. Even if we apply the same procedure like node 2 and node 3 still we will get the value of V1 as 10. Now let us check for that. So for that we have to apply the KCL for the node 1. So, so for node 1 it will be V1 minus V3 divided by 1 plus V1 minus V2 divided by 1 minus 10 is equal to 0. Solving this we will get 2V1 minus V2 minus V3 is equal to 10. So now after using the equations from the second equation and third equation and solving it mutually we will still get the value of v is equal to 10. So that is the value directly we have obtained when, whenever we have a current source which is connected in between the principal node and the reference node. So this is the procedure when we have case like whenever a current source is connected between the principal node and the reference node. Next question. So this question is from Gage to play 2016 question paper. In the circuit the node voltage VA is equal to. So here we have got a node A and we have to calculate the value of voltage at this particular node A. So to apply the procedure first we have to calculate the nodes. So the node is already mentioned here and we have different nodes. But since we have to calculate the nodal voltage of just VA we can directly write the equation for node A. So at VA we have it as for the particular resistance here it is VA divided by 5 plus so across this particular branch we have it as VA and the voltage source is 10 since it is moving from plus to minus it is minus 10 divided by we have two resistors connected in series so 5 plus 5 will be 10. Next for the other term it is VA. 
So considering this particular branch here it is PA and the other voltage source is 10 I1 which is a current dependent voltage source. So the value is 10 into I1 and it is flowing from negative to positive. So VA plus 10 I1 divided by the resistance value is 5 and we have one more branch here where the current source value is given which is 5. So whenever we are considering this node we have to take the current value flowing in opposite that is outwards direction. Here the current direction is moving in opposite way we have to indicate a minus 5 for this particular term which is equal to 0. So this is the nodal equation for the particular node A. So let us simplify it. After taking LCM, we will get it as 2VA plus VA minus 10 plus 2VA plus 20I1 minus 50 is equal to 0. So, 5VA plus 20I1 is equal to 60. So, I1 value is VA minus 10 divided by 10. So, this is the value of I1. The circuit where it is mentioned here I1. From the circuit where the I1 is mentioned here. So across this particular branch the value of current in terms of V by R can be represented as Va minus 10 divided by 10. So here we have got the value of I1. Let us apply it in the previous equation. So we will get it as 5Va plus 20 into I1 value is Va minus 10 divided by 10 which is equal to 60. Solving this 5VA here we can simplify this so plus 2VA minus 20 is equal to 60. So 7VA is equal to 80 and VA will be equal to 11.4285 volt. So this is the nodal voltage VA's value. This is how we have to calculate. Let us solve a last example which is taken from SSC Junior Engineer 2023 question paper. We have to calculate the value of current I2 in the given circuit. I2 is available here. So at this particular node, let us take it as value of V here. So at node V, the nodal equation can be written as Starting from this particular branch, it is V minus the voltage source is sustain divided by resistance value is 5 plus across this particular branch, it is V minus 10 divided by R value is 10 plus across this branch, it is just V. We don't have any other voltage source divided by two resistors are connected in series. So it is 6 plus 4, which is equal to 10, which is equal to 0. Solving this, we will get. 2V minus 30 plus V minus 10 plus V is equal to 0. So 4V minus 40 is equal to 0 which means V is equal to 10. We have to calculate the value of I2 across this particular branch. So I2 in the sense it is nothing but the value of V by 10 which is flowing in I2 here. So I2 this is equal to V by 10. And V value is 10. So 10 divided by 10 is equal to 1 amperes. So option 1 is our correct answer. So this is the procedure to solve nodal analysis questions. In case if you have any doubts, you can post it out in the comment section. Thank you so much friends.